Well, don't just stand there. Come on in. It's okay. It's safe in here. They can't come in. Have a seat by the fire. You look exhausted. It's never ending out there, isn't it? Always a hard journey. My manners. My name is Mitch. Welcome to my home. It's not much, but it's my little corner of peace in this very cruel world. You can tell me all about yourself later, when you've recuperated from that run. <laughs> well, for now, relax. The infected will wander off eventually, but you can leave at any time. In the meantime, if you'd like, I can keep you company. Tell you some stories? Until you're ready to tell me yours, if ever. As you can probably tell, I've lived a long life, and I've seen a lot of things, and of the world or not, human nature doesn't change. Some people it makes them shine, others it reveals things they'd rather not know about themselves. So, let me tell you about a couple of folks that I met a while back and just what they found out about who they really were when everything went to hell. Our story starts at the camp of very nice survivors who had been together for a long time, but one of them, a kid, was very sick. Fuck, Gostin. That kid's not looking good at all. Yeah, Zeke, I, uh, I'm not too sure how things are gonna pan out here. Mm, I don't think it's so good. I know, but listen, Hera, we've got you, okay? Hang in there. Mm, can I have a drink, please? I'm very thirsty. Sure, let me just go get that. I'll be back in a few. Everyone seemed uncertain of her fate. Even the group's doctor. Hey, Axel. Axel, are you awake? What? What is it? Uh. Can you step out here for for a minute? I really need to talk to you. Sure, Sarah. I can do that. Just give me a moment. She's got an infection and it's moving fast. I can't keep her temperature controlled 48 hours max, and that's using every last resource we have left. She's not gonna make it. What do we need to do, Sarah? What is it? I'll do anything. Look, we need antibiotics, and I know how hard they are to find. It's been, what, four, five years now? But that's the only thing that's gonna stop this infection. I'll try my damnedest to get it. I won't give up on her. I won't give up on any of you. Hey, I've got your water, sweetheart. Thank you. Hey, Axel. You think anything's gonna be alright? I'm not sure. <sighs> I really hope everything's gonna turn out alright. James. Oh, wait, hey, buddy. I was quiet on the Western Front. How are things with Hera? I don't think it's looking very good then. Get to find antibiotics. Maybe check some of the nearby hospitals and uh, clinics. Axel, we've scraped everything bone dry. I have myself, personally. There's nothing nearby. There's got to be something nearby. All right, there just has to be, James. We'll leave in the morning. All right, we'll go. Although seemingly impossible, Axel brought his best friend James to find the medicine they needed for that young girl. With very little time, 
They had to make haste. They had already lost enough as it was. Be safe. I really hope they find something. They had searched every clinic, hospital, city, and abandoned camp that they could, but still without results. A full day had passed, leaving them with even less of a chance to save the young lady. Son of a bitch. What are you doing? We should have picked that guy up. Hell no, we don't have time to pick him up. We need to get these meds now. Just keep driving. It had been almost another full day, and still without anything. Hope was starting to diminish. Road ends here. Left to walk it. Their only hope would be at an old evacuation site, rumored to have bandits lurking. But this was quite the walk away, and no guarantee of finding what they needed. You see that? What? Shit, yeah. See that over there? Some light. I I'm not sure what it's from. I think this is where they went. You mean the bandits? Who the fuck you think I mean? Goddamn Santa Claus? Of course the fucking bandits. Oh, hey, Eric. Why don't you go and look out? You're the sniper. I swear to God. Always me. Somebody up in that tower. You see him? Not from this angle, we gotta move. Alright, well, be careful. Move up quiet. How are things holding up, boss? Why don't you do me a favor and take a walk? Sean's gonna be okay, boss. You know that, right? The leader of these bad people was dealing with his own predicament, being the father of a sick boy with an uncertain fate of his own. Looks like there's a lot of people in there. We might have to go around. She yeah, that's what I would've wanted to do even if there was just one. Hey, why are you sitting around? Get off your arse. Alright. Yeah. Jesus Christ, there's a fucking guy right there. Stay low and stay quiet. If they were to get caught, it would surely mean certain death, especially stealing medicine that they needed for the sick boy. We scored. I found some tetracycline. Really? Yeah, I ain't shitting you. God, that guy, that fucking club was no way. No way he doesn't see us going back the other way. To go left. But then everything went horribly wrong. Shit. What in the fuck? The gunshot had alerted infected in a tunnel nearby. And there were a lot of them. Too many. Shit, 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 move, 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 move! Guns out, it came out over here. What the fuck's going on? I move up ahead. 
Shit. Shit. Big guy's they got down. Heavy. What the fuck happened? Now check his pulse. Watch my back. Get him up. Oh, shit. Us, we gotta go. I'm not leaving my boy here to die. We make our stand. Us, if we're gonna Bring make a up stand, front. you're gonna need a bigger gun. Oh shit. Get on the bus. Up, up. Go, first. Axel was able to tell that there were more infected than bullets. He had to think of a solution quickly, as time was running out for that poor girl. My gun's fucking done. One shot left. I only have two left. I'm out of rounds. What do we do? James, I'm sorry. It was a dark moment for Axel. How far would he go to save the young lady? Honestly, that was never really the question. The real question was if he could succeed, and at what cost. No, this can't be, this can't be happening. <laughs> Everybody's gone. <laughs> I'd only been faster. Maybe things would be different. Where am I gonna go now? They're all dead. He never really knew what happened to them. But he knew that he was too late. He stood there, contemplating his own fate and everything he had done until now. The choices he made. The time he's lost. I can't live without them. Everything I've done. Just one last bullet. Oh, Jesus. His last bullet was not aimed in the chamber. And he accepted that fate decided that his punishment was to live with what he's done. Or so he was thinking. So Axel would drive away, never looking back, but also never forgetting.
My name is Dr. Daryl Miller. If you're reading this, then that means I've died. I don't want to be forgotten or found without proper information on me, just in case you care enough to give me a proper burial. I was a doctor in the old world. My wife was Susan Miller, but she was recently killed by some bandits who took her away from me. I tried to find a way to save her, but I could not find the courage on time. We never had a child of our own, so we have no legacy left behind. I always carry medical supplies and an overabundance of medicine, so feel free to take it all. I also have a stash of them at the coordinates found at the bottom of this note. May you have better luck than we did, Daryl Miller. What are you doing? We should have picked that guy up. Hell no, we don't have time to pick him up. We need to get these meds, now. We all have choices to make. God fucking damn. Ain't any reason to think we are making the right ones. You take a guess and act on whatever moral compass you have. Sadly, quite a few of us found out that our morals allow for quite a bit when facing danger. The only problem is living with yourself after the danger has passed. <laughs>